So Dr. Sachs, every parent, especially those new parents that have the little ones, the toddlers, um, <laughs> it's not too early to pose this question for them. When should their child have a phone? Because every kid seems to have one. At what age is it appropriate for you to buy a dedicated phone just for your son or your daughter? Okay, based on the research, no child under 13 years of age should have a smartphone and most 13 year olds are not ready for it. Uh, I, my wife and I didn't buy a, a phone for our daughter until she graduated from eighth grade at 14 years of age. Uh, and again, parents of 12 year olds will say, well, that's totally ridiculous. My daughter's doing all these activities. What happened if her ride doesn't show up? I, I don't wanna go up to a stranger asking to borrow their phone. Okay, you get her a basic phone. There's plenty of these phones available. They can make a phone call. They can receive a phone call. And the battery lasts forever, okay? Uh, uh, you give her a basic phone. And in case of emergency, she can call you. Uh, but a smartphone, a phone that can surf the internet, that can take pictures and send pictures, no child under 13 should possess such a phone. Most 13-year-olds are not ready for it. And I strongly encourage parents to install parental monitoring software and explain to your kid, look, I will see every photo you take as mm. soon as you take it. Yeah. So if you don't want me to see it, don't take it. And parents, again, will push back and they'll say, hey, if my daughter doesn't want me to see her pictures, I'm fine with that. I respect her privacy. I don't right. want to see her pictures if she doesn't want me to see her pictures. And what I say to that parent is, look, the most important thing you got to teach your daughter or your son is that there is no such thing as privacy to any photo you share with a phone. Yeah. Uh, if privacy is great, you want to share a photo privately, here's what you do. You print it out on a piece of photo paper, <laughs> go to your friend's house, show it to them, and then you shred it. That's privacy. <laughs> what we're learning about electronic monitoring, there is no such thing as privacy. And I've personally been involved in, in situations where a girl sends a, a picture uh, to a boyfriend and before you know it, it's online and all the other boys have seen it. Uh, and it's on porn websites and you can't get it down. It's there forever with her name. Uh, it, is, it is not age appropriate to, and that girl's life has changed. And I've counseled a girl who said, my life is over. The photos will always be out there and she wants to die. And I don't blame her or her boyfriend. I blame the parents. Hmm. Hmm. I blame the parents. If you're going to put a phone in the hands of a 14 year old, that she can use to take a picture and send that picture, then you, the parent, are responsible. Yeah. So what I'm hearing you say is up until 13, 14, have a child with a basic phone where they can't do all the other stuff with photos and everything else mm -hmm. for security reasons. And then once they do get to that threshold, like you said, you gave your daughter a phone once she graduated from eighth grade, then you have the parental controls on that. Let them know, hey, I'm going to be monitoring. I care about you mm -hmm. and I am invested in helping you have a healthy life and protecting yep. you from things that can harm you. Yes. And the parent has to have the password. Uh, parent has to be able to see everything that's on the phone. Again, I encounter parents who say, well, you know, I'm pretty digitally savvy. I can look at my kid's phone and figure out, you know, what they're doing with it. Uh, no, you can't. Mm -hmm. The idea that you can look at someone's phone and have any idea how that phone is being used is very 2006. Mm -hmm. It might have been true 15 years ago. It's not true today. Uh, these parents don't even know about these vault apps that allow kids to conceal photos uh, without parents even knowing that the app is there. It will not show up under apps recently installed. It is designed to be invisible yeah. to parents. And parents will say, well, my daughter would never do that. Yeah, if she lives in the United States, she's immersed in a toxic culture that's pushing girls to share photos. Mm -hmm. And again, it is unreasonable for your, to expect your daughter to say, well, I don't want to share such a photo because it would offend my virtue and modesty as a lady. <laughs> but again, you have to allow her to say, hey, my parents have installed this app on my phone. They're going to see every photo on my device. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and again, you have to be willing to be the evil parent yeah. to protect your child. To uh, allow your child to have that excuse. It's my mom and dad. Blame it on my mom and dad, right? Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. because it's, it's all out of love. Dr. Sachs, once again, wise words. Thank you so much.